Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Unorthoblox. My name is Silly Billy, but you can call me Bull Man? Maybe. Anyway, in the last episode, we built this monstrosity. And no, I don't mean my face, I mean the thing behind it. Look, it's a big ball. I still can't get over this. It looks so fun. It's so cool. Ah! And in this episode, we are going to do two things. One, we out. Are, okay, there's a there's a big ball in my face. Okay, well, first, we're going to fill the bowl. Yeah, the bowl's not going to be staying empty for too much longer. We need to fill this ASAP. And then we can start building on the castle. I could either do the castle first and then the water. Or I could do the water first and then the castle. And I think the latter is my favorite option. Because if I want to fill every nook and cranny with water once the castle is built, that is going to take so much work. There's going to be blocks that need to be waterlocked. It's going to be one big mess of water not flowing to the point that I need to fill every individual block with water and we're not doing that. Besides, if I do build the water first, I have done a water build before. and Not on this YouTube channel, by the way. And the advantage of building in water is that you basically get creative light in the sense that you can fly around and build higher and lower wherever you please and we can burn all scaffolding blocks that we own because we'll never need them ever again yeah so yeah water first it is as you can see we cleared through these shoko boxes pretty well although there are a couple of shoko boxes that are still entirely filled with glass Oh gosh, it's, it's actually quite many. It's almost five shulker boxes. Yeah, I miscalculated again. What I think happened is I calculated how many blocks there would be in the entire bowl. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know why it's so much many. But of course, we don't fill the entire bowl because at the end, we're not making it a circle. We're making it a bowl. So we need a couple more layers in the original design. And I just calculated for the entire circle because that was way easier to do. Now, do we have too much? Yes, but... You know, it's glass. You're always gonna need glass. Wait, I see the top of my head again. Uh, that, that's not good. Yes, now I feel complete again. Okay, so you talk to the giant ducky on my face, and then I fly us to the second thing that we'll be doing in this episode. Hello, how was your day? Have you been doing nice? I am a giant duck on the face of another giant duck. Whack! Got time to shout out some other bills on this server. Look what is happening here! It's like it's coming straight from Avatar. Oh my gosh, that big thingy. And she's blowing me a little kiss. <laughs> the sniffer. Oh my gosh, I've never seen these guys before. Yeah, I, I completely missed out on 1.19's features. And 1.20 has completely went over my head as well so far. So, oh my gosh, you guys are cool. And you're, what is this? Huh? Wait, I'm sorry, I'm borrowing this. Torch flower seed. <gasps> what are you doing? What is this? Is that how they work? Oh my god. Did it just poop? Is that just how they work? You just let them loose and they collect seeds. Oh, I love these guys. I really need to do an episode for the 1.20 features because, man, I want one of you. You look so cool. I really need one of you in my life. This is a little bit more of a familiar face. <laughs> Oh, they have flower petals. Oh, cool. Oh, it's sunny. Okay, well, sunny, you have a very cool place here. And I stole some seeds, sorry. Do you think this cathedral would fit my fishbowl? I mean, maybe if it's like an IKEA package and you can disassemble all the plates, then maybe if we stuff hard enough, we could fill it in there. Either way, that's not why I'm coming here. I am coming here for this, the Unortho Tower Part 2. This is the first Unortho Tower. You may have seen that in one of my earlier videos as well, but we're building a second one. Wait, let me find a good vantage point. Okay, so this tower... Okay, this is not really a good vantage point either, but you're gonna have to deal with it. This tower has started around the 1st of June. I believe originally it was a Pride Month project, but we are all busy. So yes, it is now August and we're only halfway done, but every person is building a layer to this tower. And today it is my turn. I got yellow and I bundled up forces with uh, jam but mostly with spider to combine mine and spider's layers into one big layer so really you only get 10 blocks which is not a whole lot you can see with jam he built a giant jam pot <laughs> but yeah spider and i have combined layers and we're going for a 20 block high layer which is going to combine the colors of yellow and orange and you can see that spider has already kind of started her part uh but i still need to think about mine i don't know if it's intentional that this is blue and yellow I mean, those are my colors, but then again, it's also Ikea's colors, so uh, who's to say? But I'll need to have a thought about what I want to do here first, so I think we're going to start with the base this time around. Usually we do it the other way around, but this time, let's just start with the base. The first order of business, ow, 
The first order of business is to actually fill up this bowl, and I have an idea of how to do that, at least for the top half of this thing. Because there is a, a super simple trick, which I believe should work for filling the lower half. And then for the top half, ow, sorry. And then for the top half, we need to find something else. And if all that doesn't work, then, well, maybe we can still be on the project. But, but let's not think about that. Let's just, just do it. Oh, right. I need an infinite water source anyway. So let me just quickly show you the trick that I want to use for this. Okay, so basically, you're going to take a water source and you're going to fill this edge in right here. If you fill this to about... I would I want to say three quarters of the way then I believe it should fill in the rest automatically and one more there and one more there all right and like that the entire thing is now infinite water sources and I hope that if I remember it correctly this works similarly for when I do it up there. Now the reason that I'm taking that point is because that is the highest point I can go before the circle starts collapsing in on itself again. We, I mean, the walls come back in, collapse, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm not a technical mumbo jumbo man. So just, the wall goes as high as there, and then when it doesn't go higher, I need to place the water. And then that is the bottom half, and that should be easy, I hope. And then the top half, that is an issue for future Billy. So, Present Millie is going to worry about this for a second. Oh no, oh, the wall collapses in on itself earlier. Oh, that wasn't the highest point. Oh no, can I pick this up? Uh, no I can't, oh no. <laughs> I feel like this may not work the way that I thought it would work. Oh, can I pick this up please, please? No, it's not letting me, oh no. Okay, this may be more painful than I thought. Maybe we need to go back to the drawing board, but let me just continue anyway. And then hope that maybe when I do the entire thing three quarters, like I said, that it will work. I don't know. Okay, this is the most annoying job that I've ever had to do. And I just built an entire fish bowl. But anyway, I should be coming up to three quarters. So this is the moment that it has to work. Please let it work. Uh, it should have worked way earlier, I think. Oh, no. I mean, is it too late to abandon this project entirely? Can we just still turn this into something that doesn't require water? Might be able to turn it into a vase and then put a flower in it with just a little bit of water at the bottom. Oh, or maybe a bowling ball. That could work. Ooh, or we just ditch the project entirely and pretend like we were never here. And there's just going to be one giant floating bowl in the middle of the world. And, and nobody's ever going to know who did it. Or And we're going to pretend like we don't know either. It's got... Huh? I don't know what that does here. All right, we're done. And yep, it's uh, it's not working. It's looking kind of pretty though, but this is not what it's supposed to do. Uh oh. Well, at least I can kind of show you what it's going to look. Uh, no, never mind. Oh, the water is even transparent, so it e doesn't even look like what it's supposed to be. I was gonna say at least you can see what the vibe is going to be. Oh no, I created an accidental wall form on top of it. I thought water let through light. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is now the next day and I figured out the plan. I know what I did. I was a dummy and now I think I fixed it. So the, the theory that I showed you yesterday works, kind of, but I did forget an important thing. Uh, element of that. Hi, this is a little... Hey, hey mama, how you doing? Let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> anyway, I was a little silly. So, I was right in my assumption that that should work. The detail that I missed right there is that I need to have a block below every water source. And there's a really easy trick to do this anyway without me having to place manually layer by layer. Alright, so I've turned this little creeper crater into a experimental zone. Uh, basically, what you need is some ice. Uh, you place that in every corner. So going here, going here, and then if you have corner blocks, then you also need to do it here and here. And you need to do that for, indeed, three quarters of it all. And I believe... Hello? Oh, a torch. Yeah. <laughs> Wait for my signal, man. You're ruining the surprise. Now, now this doesn't work. Oh my gosh, it's already going wrong. I don't even have my fortune here, so that is unfortunate. <laughs> If I now do beam bam boom 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 bam bim bam bim bim bam bam boom bam 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 Oh, I'm underwater. Yeah. Bam! Then there we go. Water in every corner. So that was basically the short version of it. Now I need to do the big version of it. Should I just leave this pond here? Yeah, sure, why not? I guess I just need to Oh god, I can't see any of that. <gasps> no, this is this is terrible. I'm going to clear that water up because I cannot work if I can't see my eyes. Out of all the blocks that I could use for this job, why am I using crystals? Wait, what is this? No, amethyst. 
thingies. Can't even walk the entire thing. That is so unhandy. Is that a word? Unhandy? I mean, it is a very literal translation of a Dutch word. Sometimes I have these things where my English is pretty, pretty, pretty fluent. <laughs> um, oof, way to embarrass yourself, Billy. Um, my English is pretty fluent. There we go. Uh, but sometimes I think certain words translate a little too literal from Dutch to English. <laughs> I don't know if unhandy, unhandy means clumsy. Clumsy is the word. But in Dutch, it's onhandig and un onhandig. <laughs> now I'm using two languages. This is getting confusing. Onhandig literally means, yeah, uh, uh, clumsy. I I'm a little silly, a little goofy. Okay. Done, finally. Now that the bowl is clear again, I think we're going to try this with the water thing. I did what I think I have to do, but I feel very uncertain about this. I'm a little scared that this is not working as intended, and then I, uh, I don't honestly really know what to do. But we'll figure it out. Let's just see if I need to worry about that. Oh god, I need to be underwater, or otherwise I'm not seeing the ice. That is, that is a, an issue. <laughs> I can't see. Okay, so that seems to kind of work. I think are these source blocks though? Yes, they are. This one? Okay, good. So this is working, I think. Also, it looks like I don't need to place a block of ice on top of something to break it and become a water source. So that is going to make the top side of this easier if this trick ends up oh, if this trick ends up working the way I <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, well, there we go. Okay, um, yeah, let's let's keep experimenting with this. I think I really only can say if I broke like a quarter of this, which is going to make it another pain to clear up if this doesn't work either. But on the other hand, water needs to go into this bowl anyway, so I might as well just leave it if this doesn't work and then painstakingly fill in everything that didn't get filled with this trick. Yeah, so I think that has worked. As you can now see, it, it's hard to tell, especially with me bobbing up and down in the water. Like I was saying, it's hard to tell, but if you look at there, that is now one solid wall of water. And that I believe is the result, uh, as opposed to, for example, these columns. And that I believe is because I filled all the blocks there instead of skipping one each. So I think I might need to do that as well as that I then also have to do every single loose corner that is not at that height. <laughs> Honestly, I did not expect that this would be more work than building the actual bowl, but here we are. <laughs> I'll uh, see you in like three hours or so. My god, that took forever, but the ball is finished. It is full. Also, if you're wondering why there are lions in the water, um, maybe catch up on what Jam has been doing the last couple of weeks. Uh, he did something with lions and providing everybody with lions, and well, the ball was looking a bit empty, so now we have sea lions. <laughs> I honestly really like how these guys look underwater, and they're pretty subtle with only needing like a glass pane to hide them on. So I think once we have some structure into this place, I might actually keep a couple of these guys floating around here. <laughs> so that concludes the bowl work for today. Let's go over to the unorthodox the tower shall we so after all that we are back at the anortha tower part two and we still need to build something here uh, luckily spider hasn't done anything just yet either so uh it does look like i'm not doing my job but she will look like she's not doing her job which i like yes <laughs> uh okay what is predominantly yellow think billy think <gasps> A minion. Ah, beautiful. Well, I think we're ready to call it a day. Let's go. Kidding, kidding, kidding. We're removing the minion. We let's build something else. All right, I had an idea. What if the little splashes that are coming out of this jam pot are actually honey? You know what likes honey, right? That's right, we're doing Winnie the Pooh. Done. All right, now let's actually call it a day. Kidding, kidding. We're not doing Winnie the Pooh either. Didn't I do it for you? 
All right, enough with the jokes. I wasn't thinking of Winnie the Pooh. Maybe you were. In that case, you have better taste than I do. No, I was thinking of other yellow creatures. I, I think it's time that we bring a little bit of life to the Anorfa Tower, shall we? Tracking? Let's not make him see. <laughs> I don't think he knows, or he doesn't care, but I think he has no clue. <laughs> what is... Hello? <laughs> Did he not see me? Am I invisible or something? <laughs> there we go. Hey, Tracking. <laughs> it is so cute. Oh, look at the little guy. He's such a big boy. <laughs> and he has like the little blushy cheeks. No. I love you. I love you. I would both die and kill for you. At the same time. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a super... <laughs> I love him! But he's a little lonely, lonely. Oh, no. So, I think we need to add a couple more bees to this area to make this area more alive. All right, we've got a super duper tiny one. He's cute and pretty good. This one's climbing the wall. Look, he's, he's vertical. <laughs> I added two more. These two guys are fighting over a honeycomb. Oh, this is be too much. Now we also have a bit bigger bee, and he's a little mad because he thinks he's a little bigger than the rest. Well, it's okay because now there's so much more to love from you. Ooh. Something that you may not have noticed just yet is that these bees are not placed like this on accident. As you can see, they are kind of sloping upwards, right? Well, we need a way to get to the next level. So what I thought is you could jump on the little guy's faces, and then you'd have to parkour from B to B, oh gosh, that's embarrassing. Parkour from B to B, all the way to the top. There we go. All the way to the top, to the next layer of the tower. This is gonna be so fun. I'm gonna be building a couple more bees off camera and then I'll see you when those are done. And done. I went away just to build some bees and that's all I did in the meantime. There has not been multiple weeks. Again, I I'm so bad at keeping this schedule up. Anyway, sorry, I'm a busy boy. Where's my duck? Hello, I am also back. Quack. But I did do what I said I was gonna do. I finished all the bees. There are so many bees telling cute little stories here. For example, these three little fellows are carrying this tub of honey and this big one is carrying the back. This one's not very happy about it. These two mischievous bees have stolen some honey from this bee and he's now chasing them down. And this little one is climbing the wall. Well, the wall's not really here just yet. A part of it is. Uh, I can see that Spider has put some serious work into building this honey wall as well. And of course, Seely Beely. <laughs> for now though, I want to thank you for watching and wave you goodbye to the next episode, which I am going to get straight into recording. Hopefully this next episode is going to be out sooner than the last one, but that's what I said the last time as well, and here we are. Anyway, I am going back to work to get you this episode as soon as possible, because I get that the GBs again, we've had Minecraft Live, and now I'm really excited to get back into the grind, and we have a ball to finish. We need to build a castle, and that is what we're going to start in the next episode. It's coming, and it's gonna be big. But for now, I thank you for watching. This has been Silly Billy, and remember, be... Uh, huh? <laughs>